When speaking to our customers, common questions arise including what fuel to use, how to start their engine, maintenance schedules, and carburetor care. In this brief series of instructional videos, we'll try to show you some tricks of the trade and answer as many questions as we can. If you'd like to see any videos in the future, please comment below. One of the most important things you can do when you own a carbureted engine is to run it out of fuel when you're storing it for a period of a week or more. This is easily accomplished by just running the engine until it starves itself. From my personal experience, I like to run my engine out of fuel at the end of each day because I'm never sure that I'm actually going to make it out the next day. If you're unsure if you have a carbureted engine or not, speak to your dealer and they'll be able to tell you. In this video, we'll show you how to properly start and shut down your carbureted engine. When your engine is cold, pull the choke lever. Set the engine throttle to the start position and pull rapidly on the handle. As the engine is warming up, push the choke lever in until you achieve a steady idle. In the event that your engine is flooded, turn the lever to the full wide open throttle position. Pull the handle repeatedly until the engine starts and snap the throttle back to idle. When traveling with a four stroke outboard, it's important to have the engine oriented in the correct direction. You'll note on the side of every outboard a sticker saying this side up. To ensure your outboard runs entirely out of fuel, you must allow air to enter the system. Depress the button on the back of the fuel valve for a few seconds until your outboard's out of fuel. You may also pull the choke out repeatedly to get the last few drops of fuel out. Every carbureted engine is a little bit different, but most commonly, pump twice, hold a quarter throttle. That's all for now. If you have any questions, contact us at Inlet Marine.